I'm not doing it. You gotta do it. It's a headline. Tiger didn't even win. It doesn't matter. It's a prestigious yearly sporting event that millions of people watch. But it's not a sport. It is a sport. It's more like a big board game based on chance. And athletic skill, which makes it a sport. Where's the athleticism? Curlers do more moving than they do. Hell, bowlers who are mostly out of shape morons like myself, eating nachos between their turns are more athletic than golfers. You can't be serious. I absolutely am. No it's nothing but wannabe sports what stars making themselves make look like they're in like shape that. when the they would get their butts the kicked by the Welcome to the Sports Con here on YouTube. I'm your host, Daniel, with your top sports stories. The Masters were held over the weekend, and actor Adam Scott, known for playing Ben Wyatt on Parks and Rec, took some time away from the set to win his first ever green whoa, whoa, jacket. Whoa, whoa. The Adam Scott who just won the Masters? Different person. You're kidding me. It wasn't the actor? Nope. Actually a golfer from Australia. First Aussie ever to win a green jacket. How are we talking about a different Adam Scott from the one who's on Parks and Rec? Well, this is a sports show, Daniel. And you admit it! I admit nothing. Besides, why would Adam Scott, the actor, be at Augusta? Well, a lot of celebrities play those charity events. You're telling me this isn't one of them? Oh, you fool. This is a golfing tournament that has the best players in the world squaring off against one another. Why would a Hollywood actor be involved? Because many of them are also more athletic than full-time golfers? Oh, that is just utter crap. No, it's not. Look at Vin Diesel, Dwayne Rock Johnson, Mark Wahlberg, Slice Stone. Before I get sidetracked anymore, I guess congratulations to Adam Scott from Australia for getting the ugliest blazer ever conceived. Why Tiger would ever want a fifth one of these atrocities? I'll never know. Getting back to actual sports, the Lakers lost Kobe Bryant over the weekend after tearing his left Achilles during Friday's win over Golden State. He is expected to be out six to nine months. The Lakers do win Sunday's game versus the Spurs without Kobe, 91-86. to Dwight Howard scored 26 points and had 17 boards, while Steve Blake had 23 points, 4 assists, and 5 rebounds. Tim Duncan of the Spurs had 23 points, 10 rebounds, 4 assists, and 3 blocks in the loss. It would seem that the Lakers' chances of getting far into the postseason are dashed by the fact that Kobe is out. That and management has no idea how to run this team. It still looks like they'll be the A seed, but more than that is a dream right now. In baseball, the Giants managed to beat the Cubs 10-7 in 10 innings yesterday after a ninth inning home run by Hunter Pence tied the game and forced it into extras. The Giants would score three runs in the 10th, and Sergio Roma would come in in the bottom of the inning to record his seventh save of the year. The Giants win the series at Wrigley three games to one. A great road series for the Giants as they now head to Milwaukee. Still concerned for both Timmy and Ryan Vogelsong, as neither one had a great start versus the Cubs, both allowed four earned runs apiece. At least the Giants were able to overcome both deficits and win those games, but sooner or later, that lineup is going to need some run control. For more on how golf isn't a sport, just watch it and you'll see what I'm talking about. Also, follow me on Twitter at SF. You can also follow me at thesportscon.blogspot.com. I'm Daniel saying those hover cards were the most exciting thing about golf this year, and goodbye.